Hello. I would like to explain the IRA project to you, especially some of you with new students um, or at our school, and um, for everyone because we've revamped it just a little bit. Um, the English department sat down and established some goals as far as what do we want to see uh, and why are we doing the independent reading assignment. So um, our goals, we want to improve specific reading skills, you know, comprehension, vocabulary, fluency. We want to improve critical thinking and writing skills. Uh, we want to prepare them for high school and further education and the increased demand of independent reading um, and time management. Um, this really helps uh, in that respect, trying to get those skills um, that will help them be more successful. And we also are planning, we're trying to make a little bit more, um, give them a little bit more reading stamina and um, learning how to read consistently, um, you know, on an almost daily basis. <clears throat> so because of those goals, we um, decided to do a few things. Um, the first thing is um, we've lowered the page count. So um, over the course of, it, it, it runs about seven weeks by the time it's all said and done. But over the course of seven weeks, students are expected to read 600 pages um, to get an A, 500 to get a B, um, 400 to get a C, and so on. Um, we practiced, uh, we give them time in class, not every day, but uh, in the first week I've given quite a few days, and we practice reading for 10 minutes, and they log how many pages that they can read, and a lot of them can read anywhere from six to about 10 or more pages. And so they notice that, hey, I can read this in about 20, 30 minutes. And that's what we're asking them, is to read about 30 minutes a day. Some of those minutes can be done during the school day, homeroom, um, if there's time after a test. Uh, I give time often um, as bell ringers. So there's time to find, um, you know, there's ways to find time in school. The biggest thing is we need them to bring their independent reading book every day because when they don't have it, then they miss out on those, you know, important minutes of reading. And we are also in the place of logs. So students are not going to be required to write logs this year, but in the place of logs, we're going to ask them that starting um, <clears throat> the second week, so of the project, which is actually the third week of school. So, um, it would be like Friday the 28th, I believe, will be the first writing that they will do. And we will ask a generic literary question and they will be responsible for finding evidence in their text to answer that question. Um, so they really need to read consistently or they're not going to do well on those. There are six of those for a total of 60 points. Um, they also will have, um, as soon as they're finished with a book, they'll have a one-on-one -on -one conference with me. They, it is up to them. The burden of proof that they read the book is up to them. And they will talk to me about their book. I will ask them some questions as I leaf through their book. So they need to have their book with them when they make that conference. If you're an off-site learner, you will um, get in touch with me. We will set up a Zoom conference for that. They will also be asked to give a one-minute book talk. They can do that right at the beginning of class, or they can use Flipgrid to do that. And that's just a really quick, you know, tell us about your book, and I will have some information to help them um, format that. So um, if you look at the rubric, you can see that the total points, that's 100 points, it's quite a few points over the course of the quarter that is dedicated to the IRA. And that is how important we believe that reading is. Um, obviously, it's an English class, but reading is something that you can't ever say, when am I going to use reading? Because you use reading all the time. So anyway, uh, I hope that answers most of your questions. My recording says it's going to end in 20 seconds. So um, just feel free to read through. And if you have any more questions, uh, please email me. One really quick thing, if you are an off-site learner, go to Destiny, email Mrs. Beechler. She will get you books or you can go to the library. Thanks and have a great